Alrighty, so I mentioned to you guys the other day that my 16 year old and I had embarked on a journey to get crystals. Well, this is actually a very new endeavor for myself. Um, I'm very, very new at this. Um, however, I know they have some great positive energies. And I'm going to be sure to include a link for you guys about the, uh, I believe it was called the Crystal Movie. Anyhow, I, I just want to show off the few that I went ahead and got for now. And I, I can't tell you everything about them because, like I said, I'm, I'm still learning at this. Um, with that said, um, I'm going to start with my little pouch here. Cute little pouch I got from this little Tex-Mex shop down the road. Um, she served us some herbal tea for stress. You can put essential oils on her wrist for protection and whatnot and to ward off negative energy. Um, okay, uh-oh, I'm missing one. I don't know where it went. I'm going to have to find that I'm missing my... Uh, power night, I believe it is. This is my rose quartz. Quite a beautiful piece. Isn't that beautiful? See that? Okay, and the rose quartz, let's see. Got that paper here. I am the rose quartz crystal. I am your love stone. I can help open your heart to give and receive love more freely. I help you find beauty in life. I inspire you to appreciate those you love, your life, and even yourself. To cleanse me, burn some incense, and let the smoke remove any negative energies. Or set me outside by the windowsill so the moonlight can shine on me overnight. And I've also found, too, that with the crystals and stones... You can set them out in the sun to re-energize them. You can cleanse them in sea salt or take them down to, say, the bayfront, put them in the ocean in salt water and cleanse them. Um, also, a great way to clean them and re-energize them as well. Um, okay, so let's see. Here's my amethyst. Beautiful little piece. I found a $30, $40 piece she, in fact, had. <laughs> I found it really hard to part with. That sucker was expensive. Had to put it back, although it had some wonderful energy. But so here's my baby amethyst, um, and of course she gave me a card for that one as well. So let me show you that. Um, I am the amethyst crystal. I am the protection and healing stone. I am used to remove the negative energies on your body or in an entire room. I can also help you feel better by releasing and removing negative energy. To cleanse me, burn some incense, and let the smoke remove any negative energies, or set me outside by the windowsill in the moonlight, and let it shine on me overnight. So that's the amethyst. Okay. And this one, I, I forget the name of it, <clears throat> which she had put, I think, perhaps it's this uh, labradite, is what she put on the card. Is what this one perhaps is, but when you shine this one in the sunlight, it catches the sun and it shows off like an iridescent. And if it's the one I think it is, I, I believed it started with an H, but perhaps I'm wrong. Um, maybe it's the labradorite related to dreams, illusion, and imagination perceived beyond the physical plane. And then um, I'm going to pause that real quick, like. Well, actually, I got one more to show you before I pause that. Um, before I need to locate the other one I've lost. This one is like my favorite. Um, I got my daughter and I both this one. It's a geostone is what she calls this one. It's a quartz crystal geostone. And it's got a little lapse here. Where is it? Let's see if I can find it. Ah, I heard it. Oh, oh, my poor amethyst. I didn't mean to roll it on that. Uh, let's see. Well, it's got a small frontal lobe you can pull off. Ah, there it is. I know I found it. And you can pull this little baby off this geostone. 
a geostone quartz crystal. Just one moment. Let me pause. And I found it, so here we go. This is simply, to me, just beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that baby just gorgeous? So I got me and my daughter both one of these. That little piece just comes off the frontal lobe like that. It's a geostone quartz crystal. See, there's the other portion of it. I kind of like it natural and raw. It seems more authentic to me that way. Um, but look at the center of that. And what I'm learning is you don't let others handle your crystals. Because, um, of course, stones and crystals can be used for negative or positive energy is what I'm finding out. And if somebody has ill will towards you or wants to place negative energy towards you, they um, can do so. My, my daughter had intended on blessing my stones and crystals. And, well, let's just say she didn't quite have the time before she left. So, um, you know, you don't want others handling them, though, in case they do have ill will towards you, especially if they're not blessed. Um, they're simply your crystals. Um, so... Be sure you consider that they can be cleansed by taking them down to the bayfront, slip them in the ocean and the salt water and cleansing them. You can also get sea salt and cleanse them, re-energize them via sunlight. Um, I'm going to pause this real quick in hopes that I can find my pyronite. Um, so I can share that with you guys real quick as well. Certainly hope I can find it. But, you know, keep that in mind, and I'm going to be sure to share a link as well that goes a little bit more into the crystals and some of the benefits and properties and the different variations. Like I said, I'm new at this, so I'm still learning. If it's something y'all are interested in, hopefully y'all can learn something too. But anyway, I, I'm going to pause this real quick and get right back with you guys. Much love.